But the next step, and this is what I don't think a lot of people are doing. What I want to do is I want to take within the context of alerting, I want to differentiate between high fidelity and low fidelity alerts. What I basically mean, statistics uh, as an example, if an alert is 90, 95 or higher percent likely to be real, that's high fidelity. Mm -hmm. If an alert is subject to false positives, it, if it could be just noise, it's not high fidelity. So what I'm saying is what we also need to do is then separate our alerting. We want to take all of the high fidelity alerts and send them to a different repository or at least label them or tag them accordingly. I want those alerts to be ones where if it goes off, you know there is a problem. Now, because those alerts are so specific, so focused, so high fidelity, you're going to miss things. In other words, I'm saying that the high fidelity errs on the side of we want to eliminate false, false positives. I'm okay with false negatives in that bucket because we have the other bucket, the low fidelity alerts that get treated how we have always treated those alerts. So the idea is have some ability to say if this alarm goes off, it's definitely bad. We have a lot of other alarms that are going off that might need to be investigated and analyzed and all that. But if this alarm goes off, it's really, really bad. And what this gives organizations, you think about a, a typical organization, right? 24 by seven monitoring is expensive. Now, you might be a large organization that can fill your own sock. You might hire a managed security service provider that does 24 by seven monitoring, but there's still a price tag. What if we tried to do 24 by seven alerting? What if we're a smaller organization that wants to be able to, I always like to joke, we wanna be able to page our people when the alert goes off. I know nobody uses pagers anymore, but the fact of the matter is if we're averaging 7.6 alerts per minute, you cannot send a text message to your security person at that rate. But if you knew that, this particular category of alert was absolutely always actionable. Now we can do more effective 24 by seven monitoring or alerting 